Hi, this is just a short video about one quirk uh, of our very strange pandemic experience. And this is how the pandemic is actually breaking one user interface feature of Google Maps. Now, if you're looking to buy groceries right now, you might well use Google Maps and look at this peak times feature with a live update of how busy things are right now. Uh, this, for example, is a local discount supermarket and it is telling me that it is less busy than usual. Unfortunately, that's not accurate. I actually went down there um, not long ago and uh, the queue to get in stretched from the entrance here uh, all the way around the corner uh, several blocks down to here. This isn't unusual, unfortunately, at the moment in the UK because uh, the number of people allowed inside the store at any given time mean that queues tend to stretch outdoors uh, quite a long way. But it did make me stop and think, why is this feature broken? And uh, I've come to the conclusion that it is because of how Google crunches their numbers and how they gather their data. And so what Google does uh, for features like this, as well as uh, live traffic congestion updates, is to passively collect the location data of Google Maps users. And you can opt out of this, of course, but I think by default you are opted in anonymously uh, to be one of these tracked location points. And because uh, it is done passively, the side effect is that uh, when the queue uh, for the shop is actually around the corner and you are not physically located in the store, you're several blocks away, it can't count you as being in that location. And that is why these numbers are completely inaccurate. Uh, now, I'm not the only person who's noticed this problem and uh, somebody's actually stepped up and developed uh, their own app. What it does is take a completely different approach to gathering data. It actually, rather than passively collect data, it actively prompts you. Uh, so if you're standing in the queue and you have this app, um, I guess you can go in and tell them how long you've been waiting before you get in and then it gathers all of that and gives it to other users. Now, that is a different approach and because of the nature of that, uh, how effective it will be will be down to how many people are using it, how many data points they get. Uh, but just a strange quirk um, of the strange times we're living in. Um, that's all that I had to say in this video. My name's Linus. I'll be back in the future with other videos with needless pedantry about design. And I want to thank you for your time watching. Wherever you are, stay safe and stay sane.